Mindset Monday. Your week begins now. Dead center in the middle of the screen is this massive, massive rock island. Now I got the idea, wouldn't it be cool to actually go out there and climb that island? And so I'm thinking to myself, this is a great thing to illustrate. Here's a good idea. What would it be like to climb out there? I mean, you can see the waves are just crushing in the background. The waves are crashing into the rocks. It's a beautiful sight. The water was a really angry this morning, but the tide is out. We're kind of into a low tide point today. And now is the perfect time for me to seize this opportunity, have a mini adventure, and then just strike out and, and, and enjoy something. And I want to take you with me. Okay, so here we go. We're at the start of the path of Big Beach here on Ukulele. We are starting out at uh, 23 minutes past four. We're gonna get going. Let's see how long it takes. I'm gonna give it, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes. Let's see what my estimation's like. Because when you're setting out to get a goal done, you have to estimate a time and say, I really want to arrive at this point in time and then we'll see where we're at. And it's okay if you overshoot it or you come short. Um, what's most important is how you finish and how you get the goal done. All right, let's do it. So I'll just see, give you a little glimpse of what the big beach island looks like. Thought I might as well maximize some time and bring you with us on this journey. And there's the beach. And kind of where my finger is pointing to right over there is where we're gonna end up. Uh, sorry, right over there. That's where we're ending up. And we'll see kind of how long it takes us to get out there. It's a pretty awesome place. The tide is out. It's magnificent. Okay, so we're about, uh, we're about a third of the way here at this point. Very windy. You can see the resort as to where we first came and we kind of started out over on that pathway. About all gold getters in the process where you get that great idea, you start out, you're excited, as you can see, the beach that we've kind of walked on so far really was pretty easy terrain. I mean, it's uh, it's a black rocky beach up there in the, uh, up over here. We've got uh, some eagle's nests that are up there. But overall, it was pretty simple for us to navigate to this point. And so that's what happens with you. You, you get started with a big dream, a big goal, and you start out and you think to yourself, hey, this is not bad. You get about a third of the way through, it's pretty decent. And then you start hitting this. This is what we have to look forward to for the rest of the journey. It's a lot of black rock. So it's not the easiest terrain. It looks kind of challenging. It's windy as it's tough. And we're also kind of fighting through uh, when the tide's going to start coming in later on. So we really have to kind of manage that and make sure that we can get back because there's actually a point where this beach actually floods out in the early mornings and you can't navigate it. So you have to make sure that we're back in time to get back to where we came. Otherwise, the other option, the backup plan, is then we have to hike out to the highway, to the road, and then double back and that'll probably take at least triple the time. But nonetheless, we have a backup plan. So do you have a backup plan? Do you have a, an ABC style approach to getting your goal done? I mean, obviously you think very linearly, you wanna go one particular way and get it done, but what's your backup plan or what's the alternative option C? If A and B don't quite work for you, do you just throw your hands in the air and give up? No, you persevere, you push through, you forge ahead. So we're at, we've started our goal, we've started with the big idea, we've started with the momentum, we're now out of the starting phase and we're into the staying phase, or what I also call forging ahead. This is the point where we decide, is the goal worth it? We haven't really put too much skin in the game at this point. We really don't have a lot of time and energy and resources invested. Do we continue? I'm gonna say right now, yes. Yes, we're gonna continue because this is an idea worth pursuing. And then you get some surprises along the way. And we have a beautiful, beautiful bald eagle right above us. Hopefully he doesn't think I'm gonna be his dinner. But you get that beautiful eagle and there he is. How much
majestic as that. And that's what happens when you're goal getting. You see surprises along the way. It's just an awesome place to be. We're about halfway to getting our goal done. And we've got some challenge that lies ahead of us. As you can see, there's our destination over on the left side of the screen, that big black rock. And we've got some, some challenges in, to get through. I'm hoping that the, uh, the sun might, might make it a little hard to see, but we'll definitely figure our way out here. Okay, so we are well over two thirds. I really couldn't stop at that point that I thought I had to forge ahead and keep going. And so we're now kind of coming into kind of some area that is getting close to our goal. And I'll let you have a look at what I see. And there, doesn't look very impressive from here, but that is the big black rock that we were looking to, to meet. We'll see how much closer we can get to it. I'm not sure. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty tough terrain. The sun's probably white. Probably washing out this video quite a bit. We'll see kind of where we can get to here for you. There is the big black rock. about 40 minutes at this point that we've reached the, the rock. It's at this point where we haven't quite finished the goal because there's the rock and I'm still 30 feet away from it. So we're going to see if we can forge ahead and get down there. I'm just going to turn the camera off because there's no way I'm going to get there holding a camera. I have to do some pretty stellar rock climbing here. Um, not, not, it's not heavy or hard, but we're going to do it now for you. And we'll see you hopefully on the other side. to do another take and say there right there it is I came I conquered it there's the big black rock it's unbelievable and now we're gonna pan around into the beauty and the footage of what I get to see this day and I call this just absolutely spectacular we're standing on the edge of Euclid, Vancouver Island, Pacific Ocean side. Unbelievable. It's just brilliant. I hope you enjoy this. We made it. You made it with us. And so I just want to remind you that all success in life comes down to three simple steps. All goal getters know this. All goal getters know that you need to start with a good idea and a desire. You take that good idea and a desire and you do a little research and you come up with a plan. And you start the plan. You start right from where you are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are, you can start. I didn't have everything perfect here today, but I started. I was well planned. I brought with me the, some simple tools that I showed you earlier. I brought with me some gear that would enable me to have the option to, to be here and be successful. And then we started. We just set, set foot on the path and we started. The second phase of getting what you want and getting your goals done comes down to staying with it and forging ahead. Yes, it comes down to staying with it and forging ahead. And you just need to put one foot in front of the other and know that at some point you will be successful. It comes down to our simple formula that imperfect progress done consistently over time will lead to monumental results. So we don't have to have a perfect plan. We don't need 95 different people to vet it and tell us if we're on the right track. We just need to start. And then we need to forge ahead doing the things that we can do. We need to focus on the things that we can focus on and only us. And then we forge ahead and we do it. And then we get to a point where we have to decide to finish. 
and then we decide to finish and we just go for it and we put in the last 20 or 30 percent effort and we make it happen and then we get to the point where we do the victory dance and we can celebrate and we can take it in and soak it in and say ah right now i'm celebrating with you here the fact that we made it and i never imagined that this kind of beauty could be sitting here on the island for us to enjoy so i hope you enjoy it here with me it's utterly breathtaking i'm loving it i wish you were standing here with me it's just an amazing place to be it's just an amazing example of amazing nature and creation so i hope you enjoy it i want you to sit down and think about what you can do this week to set a, have a good idea set some motion start your plan forge ahead and finish strong i recommend our 90-day plan your best 90-day plan it's an awesome plan and it'll help you with one thing all success comes down to systems everybody who knows about successful accomplishments comes down to systems accomplishing something worthy just doesn't happen on a whim it comes down to having a good idea having the desire and then willing to put some muscle behind the effort and start out and start and then you have a system for that and what we've done is we've built out our 90-day plan so you have a system for it and you can launch out strong and accomplish amazing things I want you to be a goal getter and someone who accomplishes amazing things. Not a hoper, a wisher, a dreamer, or someone who spends all their time just thinking and praying. I want you to actually go out and get some stuff done. Well, it's very evident to me that the tide is starting to come in and I need to really start making my way back. Otherwise, I'm gonna be in a pile of trouble here. So I'm gonna say it's Shane Fielder signing off. Domo arigato.